What do I know about Rotherham? Probably the Chuckle Brothers. That's about it. Yeah, the Chuckle Brothers are two uh, famous Rotherham United fans, I suppose, aren't they? Uh, I know Rotherham is, you know, a pretty fairly decent sized EFL club, I guess you could say. Um, I always see them sort of getting promoted every few years and getting relegated again. They seem like a bit of a League One, Championship, League Two sort of yo-yo club um, in a way. They have an impressive new stadium, which we're about to go and check out. But firstly, I obviously need to show you their old abandoned home. Yeah, just look at this place, it's incredible. There's a little like security car over there, so there's absolutely no way in. Not that I'd scale the barbed wire fence anyway, but it looks amazing. There's old turnstiles and that round there. Look at that, the old secure match day parking up here. And there's even a bit that you can see right into the seats from uh, this main road. This is called Coronation Bridge that we're on right now in Rotherham. Great to be in Yorkshire. I love covering new areas of the country. Uh, for football and look at that I mean I might overlay some other clips as well but look you can see right into the old seats and the old stands of the stadium and this wasteland here where people would have once parked is now completely abandoned look there's even like the turnstiles down there and what would have maybe been like a little club shop or a little ticket office down there as well Oh, I love to see these old grounds. It's such a shame that I can't get in. And it's a real shame uh, what happens to them when they get abandoned, but you know me, I love to see them. Oh, look at this geezer. Wheeling around the streets. Oh, look, there's a Union Berlin sticker right there. Doing wheelies around the streets of Millmore. That is what their old stadium was called. Let me just wipe the lens off the GoPro here. I actually quite like when the weather's a bit grim for my... Um, abandoned stadium vids. It adds to the atmosphere of the videos, I think, but this place was called Millmore, and that little uh, little room there, the Rotherham United Suite, open on match days, for, available for private functions, but obviously not anymore. If you like the historical side of football like I do, I've said this in videos before, I don't necessarily go to games to watch like the tactics or anything like that. Of course, I love to see goals getting scored, but I like to go and see the towns and the cities and speak to the people and see what the culture's like and the social aspects of the club. And if you, like me, love the history side of football, then please check out today's sponsor, Pundit Games. People are absolutely loving it. There's a thousand questions around 45 minute of playtime, and uh, it's really, really easy to set up as well. And you can buy it right now and get a discount using the discount code FOOTYADV. That information will all be on screen right now. When I was filming the sponsored segment recently, I just spent so much time going through loads of the questions. It is absolutely perfect for people like me and maybe people like you who are just in love with football history and the game itself. Test your knowledge against your friends and against your family. I guarantee you'll get hours of fun out of it. So please do buy one. Top link in the description box below. You ever go and watch Robert and play, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I used to come here as a kid. To Millmore? Yeah, my uncle. Oh, your dog's lovely, by the way. What's his, na you. What's his name of her? Monty. Monty. Is he a Rotherham fan as well? Um, no, I don't <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. So, what was the stadium like here then? Before, obviously, they moved oh, up the road. The atmosphere was amazing. Walking yeah. Down here, all it's, yeah. It's one of the place to be. It used to be a pub here as well. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that used to be a pub. Yeah. It used to be amazing. Amazing. But, uh, the old stadiums were the best, weren't they? Oh yeah. It's not, it's not, it's not same anymore. It's, it's got it's one awards and stuff and everything. This little stadium. Yeah. Okay. It's not like being here. Yeah. Amazing. I bet. Yeah. yeah. And so you used to come with your family and watch the games and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mainly just my uncle. Yeah. Um, like I say, you were a steward here. I remember having a puck of pie. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, mate. You can't come to the football and not have a puck of pie, <laughs> yeah, can you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Did you managed to get access inside? Nah, nah. I know looks... Some people, I've, um, I've seen them do videos before inside. Um, yeah. Walking around them. I'm going to have a little walk around here and see what I can see as well. But here's Monty. Look at him. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah. So that's. That was hand painted as well. What was that like? Two. Two pound forty. Two pound forty, and then was that fifteen quid? Uh, I'm not even sure. I'm not. Can't even see anymore. Yeah. Oh, so this is where maybe you'd have come in down this side, uh, did you? I'm, I'm not sure if this was away or home. I can't remember. I actually can't remember. It's been oh, yeah. a long time. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time. And so the Chuckle Brothers support Rotherham, right? Um, they, I think they're local, right? I think they they are yeah. from round it. Yeah. Quite on it. Um, but one of, them, one of them passed away not long ago. That's right, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they had a procession with the funeral car parked outside New Stadium. Oh, okay, so yeah. We, there were a lot of fans and stuff there at the time. Yeah. I mean, I grew up watching Chuckle Brothers as well. Of course, yeah, likewise, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the, Ro the Rotherham's most famous celebs, would you say? <laughs> I'm probably Rotherham's second one. Yeah, now after this bed. Um, now nah, I've been on TV before. Oh, have you? What for? Uh, I was pissed off on my 18th birthday. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I didn't do that very well. <laughs> no, really? I bet your mates were loving it, but your mum not I've, so much. I've had some stick for it. Here we go, so there's more of the stadium here, look, as well. Bloody hell, look at this. I love seeing these old things. It's like weird to imagine that thousands of people would have come here one day and now look at it. This used to be quite a, an atmosphere on here. What, down this little street here? I can imagine it gets tight with a load of fans. It's, uh, I think, obviously, back in there, yeah, I reckon this might have been a good place for him to meet up. Yeah, know? oh, yeah, for a few scraps and that, yeah. Fight, yeah. You were saying that um, your family wouldn't let you, your uncle, right? Yeah. Wouldn't let you go to the Leeds games? Yeah. Too fierce? Yeah, oh, the rivalry? From what I got told, yeah, growing yeah. up as a kid, yeah. Especially, like you say, down these roads, you think of the old firms of the 70s and 80s, scrapping oh, down I, little I streets all, like this. I love all the films and stuff like that. Um, Green Street and, like, a football factory and all that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I feel like you could have bumped into a better football fan. No, know? mate, this is brilliant. No, thanks for walking me down the mean streets of Rotherham down there. Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> nice. Is this about where it ends, then, yeah? Um, yeah. Pretty much. Scrapyard, it's in the ones. Oh, the, the geezer in the scrapyard. Yeah, the owns. guy so he's Boovy, he owns yeah. this stadium, well, ground. Was well, he going to develop it into something else or what? I ain't got a clue. It's been like this for a long time now. How many years has it been like this then? Ten years? It looks... Possibly, yeah. yeah possibly, yeah. something like that. Bloody hell, yeah. Well, I'm going to investigate the new stadium anyway, so I'll look into it all. Yeah, no. But what was your name again? Dale. Dale, mate. Lovely nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Sam. Have a good day, mate. mate. thank you so much. Cheers, appreciate yeah. it. See you later, man. What a cool guy he was with his dog Monty as well. Um, yeah, and really appreciate him chatting to me just then. I love when people are so open to uh, to the GoPro and stuff. And I used to be really nervous about like filming around people. Now I just film in the street because you never know like who'll see you and just start coming up to you and like chatting. So um, yeah, I'm a lot more open about it now. But I used to be really embarrassed. I still am. I still feel like such an idiot, and I don't like him uh, vlogging when it's too busy. Obviously, I've got with games and stuff, but. That stuff takes time. To anyone who wants to start a channel, um, you will uh, get less embarrassed as time goes on, let me tell you. But yeah, I love just chatting to the people of these places where I come. And uh, look, this uh, area of Rotherham here might seem a bit grim and run down to you, which looking at it, I mean, it's an abandoned stadium. It's not gonna be beautiful, but to me, it is beautiful. Like to me, these old turnstiles, the old um, ticket prices, the fact that you can like see the seats around there. The fact there's Rotherham badges still, the floodlights are still here. To me, it's history, and to me, it's absolutely incredible. So, right over there is the ACL New York Stadium. Very modern and very new compared to Millmore, which is literally just across the road. It's a two or three minute drive away from here. It's their old abandoned stadium. But essentially, the club's traditional home was called Millmore, where we've already visited. Um, Rotherham played there from 1907 to 2008, so about 101 years. In January 2010, the club announced that their new stadium um, would be called the ACL New York Stadium. It would be built on uh, the former Guest and Crimes Foundry site in Rotherham Town Centre here. And the first game to be played at the stadium was a pre-season friendly between Yorkshire rivals Barnsley, which was held on the 21st of July 2012. The Millers, Rotherham, won 2-1. The first goal in the stadium was scored by Jacob Mellis of Barnsley before David Noble scored Rotherham's first goal in their new home and something else that i like to show you guys when i come and do these videos is the like league form over time of the clubs that i'm sort of seeing and as you can see from rotherham they've never been in the top tier but again as i said earlier in the video i always see them as a sort of consistently sort of middle of the road sized sort of efl club look as you can see uh second tier every so often they'll bounce up and down and then mainly third tier but sometimes fourth as you can see look at that pre-world war ii they were third division then uh yeah they had a couple of good years as you can see in that year uh, in that level of football third tier into the second and then bouncing up through tiers two three and four for the majority of their history the weather is just horrendous in yorkshire at the moment but I have to come out. I can't just give you the facts about Rotherham sitting in the car. I have to at least come out. I have to at least ask in reception if there's some kind of stadium tour available. Here we are now in the New York Stadium. Look at this. The, uh, the home of Rotherham, as Dale was saying to us earlier. Wow, look at that. You see right inside. Hang on. Look at that there. Wow. 
That says MI, I'm guessing that says Millers, which is their uh, nickname Rotherham. Look, as you can see there, that's kind of like a mill uh, with a football there. As you can see, that, that mill um, thing would have turned over time and that is why they're called the Millers. That does say M-I-L, I can see. So yeah, it will say Millers across the seats, the nickname of this uh, really cool football club. Yeah, as Dale was saying, I think he was saying that the stadium has won awards, not the old one. I think, oh, actually, look, you can see the floodlights of the old stadium through there. For all the industrial stuff and over the road and that, you can actually see the, uh, yeah, the stadium floodlights, the old stadium floodlights. Oh, wow, that was um, really cool. I did ask if I could go in and have a little um, tour or whatever. They said no because there's like events on, which is totally understandable. But um, I asked the guy just on security there if I could have a quick look at the trophies that they have. And I'll overlay some images on screen right now. There's like playoff final trophies. There's like a plaque to commemorate them playing at Wembley in the playoff final. There's uh, trophies that they've won from like tiers three and uh, two like down in the past there's like old scarves old uh, little pieces of memorabilia to remember the past of Rotherham really love seeing that stuff um, yeah I just want to maybe have a little quick look in the club shop as well here we go let's have a quick look in there Incidentally, Rotherham's next game is the uh, EFL Trophy Final. The Papa John's Trophy, or the Johnson's Paint Trophy, or the LDV Vans Trophy. That is in, uh, that's in this weekend actually, coming up against Sutton United. So, um, yeah, big, uh, big final for them coming up at Wembley. Rotherham's biggest achievement to date has been the League Cup Final that they reached in 1961. The first leg was played at Millmore where we went earlier. That place has hosted a League Cup Final back in the day when it was two-legged, the final. They won that leg 2-0 at home, then they went to Villa Park and lost 3-0. So they won 2-0, leg one at home at Millmore, then sadly lost 3-2. 3-0 uh, in the second leg, losing 3-2 on Agra, of course, against a great Aston Villa side. Aston Villa was so good across the 60s and 70s, um, but sadly, Sadly, yeah, lost, uh, Rotherham lost against them in the League Cup Final. Spoke just then about uh, Rotherham getting to the uh, EFL Cup Final. They have actually won that before. That was in 1996 where they beat Shrewsbury Town at Wembley. Can they repeat those heroics uh, this weekend against Sutton United? I really hope they can now that I've visited Rotherham. I hope they can go and do it against, uh, against Sutton United. Sorry, Sutton fans. Oh, I just wanted to come and have a nice look around Rotherham today. The weather's been so good the last week or two. Oh my God, cheers Rotherham. But it's all right, this is all part of the fun for me. This is all part of the job to come, come rain or shine to all these stadiums. Look, I've got to do it. I've got to tick them off. I've got to make videos around them. I get too many requests from all the different fans to get to their stadium. So if you are a Rotherham fan or a fan of another team in England, let me know uh, where I should go next. And uh, especially, yeah, in Yorkshire. I'm absolutely loving it here right now. Um, filmed the Bradford video, uh, video earlier today. That video should already be up. Um, I filmed Leeds yesterday. Um, I'm obviously filming Rotherham today. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I think I'm heading back up to Scotland tomorrow, but I'm always open to keep coming back to these places. I've only just scratched the surface of Yorkshire. I had a couple of free days, so I thought I'd come down, do some abandoned stadium videos, which I absolutely love. Please, please check out Pundit Games. They're really supporting the channel in... Uh, in sponsoring these videos and they really do help to keep the channel going and if you could purchase one and use that code footy adv then they'll know that the sales are coming through these videos if you could remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new that would be tremendous i love coming to see these new stadiums it is what my life is all about even if it absolutely pisses with rain i'll leave some videos on screen please do click on one to carry on watching cheers and i'll see you in the next one let's hope it's a bit sunnier